Hey everyone, we're going to read There's No Place Like Space. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high we can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars and in case you have missed them, you'll soon see the planets in our solar system. There are nine of these planets that circle the sun and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury is close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime but freezing at night. Oh, Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is the third from the sun. It is our planet Earth. It spins all the time around and round like a top. It turns once every day and it will never stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. Next here is Mars. It's a color of rust. We sneeze here because it's covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all the planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think it could float in an ocean and not even sink? A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show you some. I will show some to you. Neptune, you see, is a beautiful blue. If you lived on Pluto, it would not be nice. Some astronauts think it is covered with ice. It is chilly and cold every night and all day, but the sun's just a speck in the sky, in the sky far away. An astronomer studies what, what is up in the sky. Thing too wants to be one. In fact, so do I. We have seen all nine planets, now here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Mallory, Mercury, v Valerie, Venus, Emily, Earth, Mises, Mars, Just Jupiter, Sir, Saturn, Us, Uranus, 999, Neptune, Pisces, Pluto. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. Great dog, great bear, Orion. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures. We call constellations. The bull, lion. A dog, the great bear, and Leo, the lion, Taurus the Bull and Hunter Orion. A star in the sky may look small like a duck, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. It's the star called the sun. From the earth, it looks big. There's one reason why. It's the closest Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute, a million of Earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time, we must go very soon. But first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. The universe is a mysterious place. 
We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look at the sky. Just put the telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back to the stars and take things one, two, one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something that's new.